we're going to take a ground view look at how the agency is viewing where the impact of the tornado was much lighter. Uh, you see the, in a lot of the South Tornado Path that the intensity was significantly lower than a lot of the places on the north, although there are some places in the north uh, path that were light as well, but there's a fair amount of it in the south path. So we're going to be focusing here on the JP sale right now. And uh, here's the Trace Road. Uh, that's the Gatlin sale, uh, JP, um, LP, and then Panther Bay to the west. And so we took a look at how the agency is uh, viewing this area where the tornado was path did not, you know, have such a hard impact. And so this will map here is a project map of showing, I guess, where the, the skitters go or can't go. And we see this road here that was pretty mucky, and so they had to go deep into the forest interior to, in the interest of protecting safety, even though this is pretty far away from any through road or recreation area. And as we get into the uh, stand here, we can see that the overall, the tornado damage was not that bad. And, um, and in a second, the camera's gonna pan upward and you can see that the canopy's pretty much still all there and not damaged. Um, and so you wonder well, why are they out here in the first place? And then furthermore, beyond the effects of skid roads and everything, wonder well what 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 needs to be done in this stand that just had some canopy gaps open, which as the management plan said are fine. And then further we look down on the ground. And we notice that, yes, there are some knocked over trees. There may even be a damaged tree that's still standing. Um, but we also see where they were clearly taking out standing trees that were probably fine and completely fine. And we notice that a lot of them tend to be the largest trees in the area. Uh, that it would be definitely be lumber grade. We're talking 16, 20, uh, 24 inch diameter trees. Uh, and you just have a hard time seeing how they, why they needed to be prioritized being taken out in an area that did not get damaged substantially compared to other places where I had to blast a road through. And this is an issue that we are seeing in several spots along the South Tornado Path in particular, not in all places, but we see where it uh, looks like uh, some crews are prioritizing their logging this way. And so um, this is something the agency needs to be monitoring. This, this should not be happening. Uh, some of that stuff on the ground is just simply the the uh, the top branches off of some of these big trees. And you, so really good sign that those were pretty big canopy trees with big, you know, big spreads because they've left a lot of spread lying there and just took out the lumber grade stuff, you know, of things that were clearly standing, not, not even leaning, that were, you know, fully erect. You don't see any disruption of the actual um, you know, root structure area. And so that, that's very much a concern to us. And so as we, as we walk around different parts of the JP sale, we see this. And while the agency is constrained from say, going down deep into that holler there, you know, with big equipment, they're, you know, just dragging some of that stuff out. And once again, these are in areas that were probably okay. And, you know, they're just running skids, skidders um, or just pulling them out when there's really no need. Once again, this is pretty far from a road. You see those fallen trees knocked over. They're really not paying attention to those, but we are seeing the attention being given on standing larger trees that are commercial grade. And so that brings this question is, shouldn't the agency be rethinking doing this? This is just, 
not something yeah here's another standing tree that got taken out all these neighbors that got knocked down they're still lying there um the agency really needs to be thinking about what's going on out there in these places where the damage was not as substantial uh and it appears that in some cases there might be what amounts to high grading and that shouldn't really be happening at all they shouldn't be taking out standing trees that are fine in areas that shouldn't have been gone into anyway that are nowhere near places of danger it it, it just it seems very ironic we see these fallen trees still lying there and then we see these big guys that were obviously still standing being taken out